Hey guys, so I just wanted to do like a small makeup haul for you guys because I just went makeup shopping today and I picked up a few things that were on sale so I wanted to talk about those. So the first thing I'm going to start out with is the color tattoo by Maybelline and um, I got the color Bad to the Bronze. It's the one that pretty much all the YouTubers talk about. Um, I really wanted to try it out, so I decided I would pick it up. I really, really like this color, and I like the pigmentation of it. There's a swatch for you right there. It's really nice and creamy and easy to blend, and I just like it for like an everyday kind of makeup look. And it's really fast and easy to put on. I bought that at Shoppers for $4.99. And it's on sale for, I have no idea how long, but it is on sale. So if you want the color tattoos for a cheap price, I suggest going to your local shopper's drug mart and picking them up. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to get was the Rimmel London Scandalize um, Taupe Eyeliner for my brows. But I ended up finding... An Annabelle um, taupe um, eyebrow pencil and it's just in the color taupe here I'll do a swatch for you and it just looks like that right there and um, yeah it's pretty much the exact same as the other one just this one was $4.99 and the other one was $7.99 so I found that this was cheaper and I liked it better so I picked this up as well I am wearing it on my brows and I also am wearing the color tattoo on my eyes. Okay, the other thing I picked up was a Rimmel lipstick. I have no idea what the um, line actually is. It's just in like a pinky, I'm not pink, a purpley black um, casing and... The color I picked up was Pink Blush, and it looks like this. And it's just this really pretty baby pink um, color. It kind of smells like cotton candy, and it almost reminds me of cotton candy. It's really pretty. I'll do a swatch for you right here. And it looks like that, and it is also on my lips right now. And I picked that up for $4.99 at Shoppers as well. So the last thing I want to talk about is the Smashbox Best Sellers um, Try It Kit. And I've heard a lot about this. I know a lot of people in the States have been getting it for like $19. Um, it's regularly at Shoppers for $44, but it was on sale for $22. And I have been looking at it for quite a while and I wanted to try it out, so I ended up buying it. So it comes in a little package like this with all the little minis. They're just like sample sizes, obviously. So the first thing I'm going to pull out is the Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And I'm going to read what the little card says about it. It's this size. And then I'll give you my opinion on it. So it says, Smooth the appearance of fine lines and pores while creating a flawless canvas for makeup application with our best-selling, award-winning foundation primer. And it's just like this clear gel-like um, substance. And it's oil-free, which is really nice. And um, overall, I really, really like it. I may pur purchase it in a larger size once I'm finished. And it's going to last me quite a while, considering you only need like a little pinch of it. And yeah, I really enjoy this. So I will let you know if it ends up in um, a favorites video or if I end up getting a bigger size. Okay, the next product is um, Photo Finish Lib Primer and it comes in this little bottle right here. What the card says is instantly smooth and perfect lids with this ultra luxurious formula to help keep shadow last all day. Um, when I first uh, swatched it, here I'll show you, it looked really orange and at first I thought it was um, a concealer and that's mainly why I got the kit. I didn't really read anything about it, but as um, an eyeshadow primer, I really like it 
and yeah I don't really have much to say about these because I haven't tried them very many times but overall I am really liking it so far and it's it's really nice and creamy and easy to blend and um, it makes my eyeshadows pop and I really like that okay so the next product in here is the full exposure mascara and it's just this little mini right here and the color of it I have no idea I'm just the color of it is jet black and um, what it says on the card is exposed your longest fullest full fullest lashes with our best selling mascara no clumps no flakes just maximum impact seen stealing lashes now um I really like this mascara but I prefer my um drugstore mascaras over it um I don't it it does clump if you put a lot on and I don't know I really like it though it's a nice mascara but I don't find it that much different than um, a normal drugstore mascara so yeah okay so the next thing I got really excited about is the Limitless Eyeliner, and I'm totally going to butcher the name of this, but I want to say um, it's Onx or something like that, and it says, get bold definition with this waterproof, long-wearing eyeliner that won't smudge or budge for up to eight hours. I absolutely love this eyeliner. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. It's nice and creamy. I'll do a swatch for you. Like, I barely have to press down to get results. And it's really nice. And I hate finding eyeliners, buying them, and then having a hard time getting it on my eyes. Because I have really sensitive eyes. So I have to be careful with, like, pulling and tugging and trying to get it to appear. So I really, really, really like this eyeliner. Um, usually these last me quite a while because I don't use eyeliner that often. So I will definitely repurchase this when I am done. And yeah, I really, really, really like this product. So last but not least is the Lip Enhancing Gloss in Alum. Or Alumi maybe, I don't know. And it's just this really pretty sparkly nude color. And I love it with my Rimmel London um, nude lipstick. And it says, drench your lips in color and shine with this luxe gloss in a best-selling shade. I really, really like it. It's nice and creamy. Um, I do find that I have really dry lips. And it makes them peel quite a bit. So I suggest if you have dry lips to obviously put like an EOS lip balm on, on it or some sort of lip treatment to make them not peel. But it looks like this right here. It's a really nice shiny nude color. And it looks great um, with lipsticks. But if you apply it without lipsticks, it's not that pigmented. Um... But yeah, I really, really, really like this color. And I'm so excited about that kit. Um, so yeah. And I paid $22 for that. And it's not that bad. But I gained a whole bunch of reward points on my card. Because a lot of that, you got optimum points if you bought the stuff that was on sale. So um, that is my small haul and review on the products that I just bought. Um, I also wanted to men mention that in my last video I said I would upload every three days. Now um, I have been really inconsistent with my filming lately so I really don't know a set schedule. That is what I hope to have for sooner or later but for right now I want to say that I'll at least have one video up a week. 
but if I get time to film and edit and stuff, there will be plenty of more. So you'll just have to bear with me until summer comes and I feel like filming again. I mean, it's not that I don't feel like filming, I just haven't been in the right mindset, I guess. So yeah, that is what I wanted to mention and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!